We're recording this conversation in November 2021. A year from now, the world changes. The implementation of ISO 20022 to replace MT as the language of global payments is really going to shake things up. It's a difficult transition involving everybody involved in the payments chain, from payments operations people, product management, right the way through to the people who provide and maintain and operate the systems and technology that we use. A lot has been written about ISO 2002 as a theoretical benefit, but the conversations about ISO 2002 have been rather quieter. Bijou from Fiorono Software and I, Andrew Muir from Nth Exception, have enjoyed many conversations about ISO 2002 implementation over the last few months, and we thought it would be a good idea, perhaps, to publish some of these conversations so that you were able to join in. We hope very much to participate in those chats and to develop them further as we investigate more layers of detail under the complex but wonderful world of ISO 2002 implementation. We really hope you enjoy it. Let's talk about the last point now, which is 50 MP. Which is really interesting because, you know, I think there's a bit of a slightly unclear messaging initially about TMP. I, I've, I've, I've spoken to a bunch of banks who have said, ISO is coming, TMP is going to be there, we don't need to do anything. And I think part of that was because of the messaging that said you have the option of receiving an MT or an MX file. So a lot of people thought, if I can continue to receive an MT file, why should I bother to change anything? Now, in reality, we've discussed this, the MT gets embedded within an MX. So the ability for a bank to be able to deconstruct an MX file does not is still important. Right? But there's much more to TMP. Right? And I think I can't think of anybody better who's in a better position to talk about TMP than the new Andrew, especially considering all the work you've done with SWIFT. So a few words, please. Uh, that's very kind. I can think of many people who are more <laughs> qualified to talk about TMP than me, and they all work for SWIFT. Big challenge with TMP, though, is how to get information out of SWIFT about exactly what it's going to do and when. Um, the transaction management platform, to give it its proper name, is absolutely SWIFT's core strategy uh, to take the SWIFT proposition up a level from merely managing messages up to managing and orchestrating payment transactions on behalf of the entire community. That is a really lofty ambition and the transaction management platform will one day be in position to take it on. But it isn't yet. Already, the, uh, as at the time of this conversation, we know that the transaction management platform will be rolled out in incremental stages. Initially, it will be passive. It will capture the details of ISO 20022 native payments uh, and messages specifically referencing the payment process. Uh, and it will ignore any payment transaction uh, that surfaces as an MT, for example. Uh, ultimately, the transaction management platform will start gathering data on all payments, but we're not quite sure when that will happen. There will be a series of incremental extensions of the TMP scope uh, until that point. I think what that means for us uh, is that we are quite rightly focused on ISO 20022 as the big change that is going to happen in 2022. Uh, the transaction management platform is going to be a passive player in this. It's not really going to, do, to deliver an awful lot of change in and of itself. The translation inflow on the SWIFT network is going to be on the SWIFT network not within the TMP itself. Uh, and so I think it's right for us to focus on ISO 20022 as the problem we've got to solve for all of the reasons that you and I have been speaking about. Uh, the transaction management platform will, hopefully, deliver on its promise to be a great platform for innovation in the future. But that future, I suspect, lies in 2025 and beyond, rather than in the immediate short term where we really need to be focusing our skills, our attention, our resources, our tools, and especially the collaboration between us 
as we go about preparing for it. And that's really important because a lot of people, actually, so some people seem to be thinking of TMP as a solution for 2022 to 2025. And what you said is absolutely right. It's really the, the value is going to be after that. Uh, we really have to focus today on getting ISO right. Otherwise, I mean, it's not a matter of can I comply? It's a matter of there's tremendous opportunity here. As you said before, it's a matter of first making it work, second making it pay, and we don't want to wait until 2026 Absolutely. for a return on our investment.